Hello everyone, this is Ali Reza. Welcome back to another hashtag trending. This is going to be our second edition on the Mujahideen Khalq terrorist group. Stay with me. The bizarre cult-like terrorist group, which was once listed as a terrorist entity by the US, the UK, Canada and the EU, is paying big bucks to politicians in these same places to speak out on their behalf. Coincidence? Honestly, I mean, if you look at the number of participants, if there are any, and add it up to the group's public acceptance, you'll soon figure out that these mostly former politicians aren't doing all of this for fame, if you catch my drift. The MEK or MKO is certainly insignificant in the amount of political weight they carry, yet they continue to pester like a mosquito that's just one swat away from extinction. But I'm curious, where do they get their money from? Anyways, enough of me. Uh, let's hit social media. Our first tweet comes from the page of Iran's leader himself. Uh, it reads, the French government and some Western governments support the MEK or MKO terrorists and give them an official place to talk even in their national parliaments. Yet they claim to advocate human rights. Some of the Western government's brazenness is truly appalling and strange. Uh, to which Hosnie replied, the louder their voice for human rights, the more blood of innocence on their hands. Now, now that is some take. Uh, also another reply by Sayyid Hosseini, he wrote the tragedy of 28th of June that 73 Iranian officials including the chief of the judiciary were killed by a huge bomb explosion planted by the MKO terrorist group was a clear example of terrorism but Europe helped this group to continue their terrorist activities from Europe. Our next comment comes from Hadi, he wrote 27 years ago MEK terrorists exploded a bomb in the holy shrine of Imam Reza, peace be upon him. 26 people were martyred and more than 300 wounded. After these years, these fossils become keyboard warriors or harassing Iranians in abroad who are voting in the elections. Hashtag Iran hate MEK. Aside from the cyber terrorist activities to attempt to disrupt the flow of Iran's latest presidential election, which massively failed by the way, the group also resorted to actual physical force to try to derail the election train. Anyways, this next tweet gives a little bit more context into this. Uh, Robert Carter wrote, I'm in touch with several Iranian expats who were attacked or abused by the fanatic MEK or MKO loving thugs while trying to vote in the UK. Reports coming soon on the failure of Britain to protect democracy in her own borders. Our next comment comes from Tim Anderson. He wrote, NATO-backed MEK terrorist group or MKO terrorist group supporter in England intimidates and attacks Iranians attempting to cast their vote in Iran's presidential election at Birmingham, UK polling station. Check it out. <laughs> Moving on to our next comment, it reads, Iran's newly elected president Raisi is sanctioned by Washington for his part in prosecuting members of the terrorist MEK or MKO group, based in Iraq, armed by Saddam and backed by the CIA, who in 1988 made one last bloody attack on Iran. The group has made several mistakes during its rotten history, but the most dreadful and yet stupid mistake was their decision to cozy up to Saddam Hussein during the Iran-Iraq war. Let's hit our final batch of tweets with the first one coming from Peter. He wrote, an ex-member of MEK or MKO terrorist group leaked pictures of their propaganda division. These old people are behind tens of fake Twitter accounts such as Hishmat Alavi. Our next tweet comes from Stance Lane. She wrote, MEK or MKO are not freedom fighters, but they like to blow up things in Iran, so that makes them useful to people like Bolton. We have a, a comment on Press TV's website by Center. They wrote, the EU, like the Americans, spends considerable resources to support various terrorist groups like the MEK or MKO throughout the world. One cannot speak of the EU as if it is a democratic institution. It is a cartel that profits off of war and disease. As a result, it is a parasite itself, just like the terrorists it supports. 
Our final comments of the day comes from Olsi. Uh, he wrote MEK, MKO, PMOI, they go by many names, or Free Iran Mafia continues to use Albania with the hidden support of Israel as a base against Iran. According to the Albanian penal, penal code and many EU laws, this is considered terrorism. However, Maryam Rajavi is our terrorist, so she is excused. Well, thanks for sticking around all the way through. I really hope you liked what you saw. Until the next edition, take care and bye-bye.